Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with a pretty exciting video. Yeah, this box was actually brought to us by our sister Holly. Yep, she has recently been on a work trip to Miami and then she went to New York. Yeah, and we set her the assignment to find us some really exciting goodies to try. And of course, while she was in New York, she managed to find a Trader Joe's. Yeah, but I always thought Trader Joe's was I more like West Coast, yeah. like California. I didn't realize you got them on the East Coast. I don't think I've been to New York and seen a Trader Joe's, so no. I don't know whether or not it's new. It'd be interesting to see thing, if it's yeah. new, but she managed to find a Trader Joe's yeah. and uh, bought us so many goodies, uh, so many crisps as well, which is a good like, yeah, snacky Yeah, and this items. is exactly why we love Trader Joe's, isn't yeah. it? Because the items are so interesting and they're not things we've really seen before. No, there's always so many new things to try. Yeah. So do let us know if you've seen any of these items before or if some of these are brand new. Anyway, we won't be sending Holly a box of British treats, but maybe we can give her some British treats. Maybe we can give her a box and she can go around. She the... can go around Candyland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but if anyone would like to get themselves one of our British candy boxes, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's a great way for you guys to support the channel and also get to try some awesome British goodies. Exactly. Right, shall we crack it now? Yes, I think we should. We've got some chips here. Ooh. Now, I don't know why, but these look familiar, but I don't know if um, we've tried a different flavor, but I know everything else we haven't tried before. I don't remember trying truffle. Maybe we did. I just remember the bag being like that, but it could have just been a Could have just a been another flavor, flavor, yeah. You're gonna be so pleased because we've got two truffle items. Oh, this is truffle. Cheese yep. and truffle. Cheese and truffle. Fancy cheese crunchies, corn snacks. These look awesome. I love the tool bag. Yeah. Right, should we so start excited, with the chips? Yeah. This says Trader Joe's organic potato chips are made with thinly sliced organically grown potatoes. They are cooked with organic oil and flavoured perfectly with white truffle seasoning. Ooh. Now, when we talk about Trader Joe's, we always say about their branding. Yeah. Now, this branding is very just like regal, quite plain yeah. and old school. Whereas like this is really fun with like the hot air balloon yeah. and it's like powered by a truffle. Can you see it? Yeah, that's like more whimsical. Yeah, it's, that's the word, whimsical. It's like the items take on, a you know, character. the personality yeah. of what you think it would be like. You think truffle, that's fancy, regal. We'll do a fancy, almost yeah. a royal package. Oh. And then that's like, more fun because it's and the cheese it's about out there, corn yeah. snacks. And these smell amazing. They smell they? strong. My mouth is salivating like crazy. Mm. We are now more up to date with boxes. Mm. So the time between them arriving to us filming isn't as long as it used to be, but this is definitely the quickest we've ever filmed a box mm. because she came two days ago. Holly literally bought the stuff the day before uh -huh. she left and then we got it the next day. Yeah. Which is why there's some um, fresh brownies down here. Mm. You know what? Even though they smell so strong, the flavor isn't actually that strong. No, the truffle isn't that strong. It's, no. The saltiness is probably stronger than the truffle. I like them, but I feel like they're not the most punchy I've had. No. Like those um, Tesco's ones, remember at Christmas? They were really good with the mushroom yeah. as well. I'm mm. thinking these might be more up my yeah. street because it's a corn snack. It's cheese as well as truffle. Nice truffle yeah. like I also that. feel like that's um, Italian white truffles and fleur de yeah. They're trying to be posh and fancy. Combining the familiar crunch of a classic cheese snack with the savory flavors of Parmesan and umami mm. tinged black truffle. These crunchies are ideal for movie nights, cocktail hours, or any other time that calls for an elevated snacking experience. Notice how that's white truffle and this is black truffle. Yeah. I do feel Which like there's Which is why I think that's lighter. Yeah. I think these will be stronger. But that's what's so interesting about um, truffle flavor and why I like it so much is it has that umami flavor. Yeah, is that mm. what it is? I love the look of these. Oh, that looks fun. They look really good. Yeah. Have we had a crunchy snack like this from Trader Joe's? I don't We've think we had have. We've had like a, a corn puff, but that was more like a cross- puff. Almost like a popcorn. Oh. No, oh no, yeah. Like those nuggety things. These look really good. They don't smell like truffle. No, they don't. These are like a knickknack, aren't they? Or like a crunchy Cheeto. Mm. Mm. This is lovely. Straight away, I prefer them. Cheese is delicious though. Mm. The crunch is amazing. This could be one of my favorite cheese corn snacks. Mm. As you know, I love those Hawkins Cheez-Its from um, oh, Canada. Yeah. But these are a bit more subtle. Because they're Parmesan, don't you think it's slightly different than mm. just like a Cheeto? Like it says, it is slightly more refined. You feel a bit more posh. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm giving these 12 out of 10. I'm going to give them 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give these ones a 9 out of 10, but these definitely a 10. I'm probably just going to give them a 7 out of 10. Really? Yeah. Like, they're not even very salty. They're salty enough for me. Mm. 
really good. I love them. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. Absolutely amazing. Now we don't necessarily have any chips left, but we've got some more like snack things. Are you searching for your inner peas? These are inner peas, a delicately crunchy baked green pea snack. When seeking the true path to snack happiness, one need go no further than Trader Joe's contemplates. Contemplate. Inner peas. Mm. They are deliciously simple and delightfully crunchy. Purists will eat them right out of the bag. They also pair well with a creamy dip or Ooh. crumbled on top of a garden salad. Devoted snackers of all ages will enjoy and be rewarded with tasty green pea bliss. Remember, practice makes perfect. I like the green, the limey there? green. That says full of green pea flavor and goodness. Mm. You love these things. Oh, I love these. Is it got a flavor? Usually they're just salty. Mm. Mm. I like these more and more every time I mm. have them. I mean, they're not exciting like the cheese and truffle ones, but there's something about them that I just love mm. and I kind of love the texture. That one tastes more like a pea. Mm. That's the thing, it's not too salted. No. So you're actually kind of getting pea flavour with a little bit of seasoning. Yeah, these are good. They're just, they, they have a nice pea flavour with just a speck of salt. As it says, they're just nice, simple, crunchy and delicious. Yeah, they are nice. Mm. I, I never would really go for them, but I have enjoyed them and I would probably enjoy them with a dip more. Mm. I would probably go more for the the um, the corn snacks. Okay, moving on. What are you giving those out of 10 out? I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. I'll probably just give them a seven out of 10, okay. but they are good. Moving on, we've got cauliflower crisps snack with cauliflower, brown rice, coconut milk, seeds, and seasonings. Really funny, they've not like said it? anything on this one. Is it funny? Sometimes with some products, <laughs> they go very like over the top and it's all like a story. And other things, it's just like, this is what it is. Yeah, it's a sealer bag. I guess if you have like a good idea for that, run with it. But if you don't, yeah. we'll just kind of leave it. They're not what I was expecting. They look a lot lighter. Mm. They smell really good. They do smell good. I can smell them from here. I'm on a bear trap. Ooh. They smell good. Mm. I feel like cauliflower really had a big moment a couple years ago. Did any of you ever make a cauliflower pizza? So basically instead of a pizza base, you'd make like a cauliflower paste. I think you put flour in it and you spread it out and then that was your pizza base. These are really good and do you know why? Why? Because in the past, I used to think what is the point of cauliflower? It's kind of mm. like broccoli, but doesn't taste of anything mm. until I've realized the wonders of baked cauliflower. Mm. When you like bake it in mm -hmm. the oven and it kind of gets, or is it grill it in the oven? It kind of gets- well, you roast it. Roast it and it kind of gets char grilled and it kind of has that lovely smoky. Yeah. That tastes like that. Mm. I definitely think it's worked well with those seasonings. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. Like that tastes like the soup mum's made. It's almost like you've got a mouthful of soup with some croutons in. Yeah, really nice. I really like these. I think sometimes, I go straight to thinking, oh, they, they're going to taste like crisp and whatever. And actually, that's a savoury snack. Yeah. And I feel like loads of you would enjoy them. More like a cracker yeah. than a crisp. I wonder if you could put, like, make little things, like a bit of Philadelphia or something. A bit of cheese or... Yeah. Mm. I feel like they'd work nice. really well with something. Or like a little sandwich. Yeah. Mm. If you enjoy savoury crackers, they would be really good. If you had, like, a grazing table, they yeah. would work well. That'd with be a bit of hummus. hummus. Twins. Or tzatziki. Tatsiki. Or like a onion and yeah. garlic kind of dip. And then have like some other bits mm. with what we're in well with it. And what are you giving those out of 10? I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. I'm gonna give them eight out of 10. I think I prefer them to the peas. In some ways, I would possibly get those over, this is sacrilege for me, but I would mm. get them over the truffle crisps. Yeah. Okay, I think we've got one more kind of savory mm. item. These are Trader <laughs> Joe Presents. Haven't we had something else that was so, Trader yeah. Joe Presents? Now this is the type of branding I like from Trader Joe's. Yeah, these guys have got personality, haven't they? These are the crispy, crunchy, mochi rice nuggets. And are these like, look, they're like a Korean um, band, aren't they, or something? They look, look at the subtitles. awesome. This is just so good. Mm. The way they're like here in that audience. Made from the same glutinous rice as the soft and chewy sweet Japanese favorite, mochi. No. Oh, so this is making it into something crunchy. Trader Joe's mochi nuggets hit the other end of the spectrum. These are light, crunchy, crispy, and savory and make a delicious snack that you might not be able to stop eating. What? I didn't even think you could do it in a different form. Look at them. They look They're awesome. Really cute, aren't they? It almost looks like a like, little bit of biscuit or something. It almost looks like, you know, when you go to gymnastics and you can jump in the foam pit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. I'm so Cheers. confused. Wow. Mm. Isn't it crazy that that 
is the same as what's around day mochi. Yeah. Isn't it weird? A kind of plain, but you also There's kind not of... a single bit of flavour on there. I feel like they need more salt though. Mmm. Well, more salt in that bit. But it's kind of something I love about how plain they are. I feel like with this, they are nice, but I feel like they're just missing something. I either wish there was a bit more salt or like a salt and vinegar. Don't you think a salt mm. and vinegar would be nice? Or if they are trying to do this whole Japanese, I feel like we've had some really lovely flavors of Chris from Japan. Yeah. Couldn't they try put a bit of that seasoning on? Or even like a seaweed or something. Yeah. Mm. Oh, seaweed would be lovely. Yeah. Or like fishy, that would be great. I really like those. I like them too. There's something I love about the plainness with mixed with the saltiness, mm. and I love the crunch you get in them. Imagine dipping that in some sweet chili. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Or like a soy sauce syrup or something. Yes, that would be very mm. nice. That would really be nice. delicious. Like a teriyaki. Mm. Moving on to kind of sweets. Yeah. I know there are some things that aren't as sweet, but mm. please, can we try these jelly sweets? I've been staring at them <laughs> forever. Holly only got them two days ago. I know, but I've just been so excited. And I pre-read the label here. Mm. Fruity jellies, kettle cooked. I thought they put the wrong label on. Yeah. Kettle cooked soft gummy candy, orange, raspberry, lemon, blueberry, grape, and mandarin. Wow. These are the type of sweets you enjoy. Yeah. Like soft Should ones. we crack it now? I don't know why, but when they say kettle cooked, I almost think they're going to be like hard sweets. They smell insane. I'm going for mandarin. How do you know what's what? Well, I'm guessing... There's orange as well. Oh. So what's the difference between oh. orange and mandarin? And look, they're out. Yeah, maybe wow. I'll just go with them. They're good. Yeah. So it's a type of sweet that have got mm. a real crunchy sugar on. Yeah. Mm. Oh my word. Mmm, wow. That's amazing. That raspberry tastes like a drink we've had. So floral, it's almost like a... Um... Rose. Yeah, oh wow. <laughs> that was nice. Oh. These are phenomenal. That's amazing. I'm kind of kicking myself that we haven't had these before. That like beats so many of the American branded sweets, I yeah. think. And they taste wow. so like fresh and like fruity, fruity and, and, light and their lovely. flavors are just mm. all so nice. 25 out of 10. 25 out of 10. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Should we try these, um, the s'mores? Yeah. So Trader Joe's milk chocolate smashing s'mores with graham cracker and marshmallow. And then for a traditional s'more treat, place s'mores in the microwave for four oh. to six seconds. So I think we do that. We've got to. What a good idea. So it's just a marshmallow on top of a graham cracker dipped in chocolate. Yum. And I suppose it depends what you like. Do you want crunchy chocolate or do you want a soft marshmallow? Ooh. Should we try... Um, the cold one first, yeah, just to give that it. a little I cut it in half second well? to... Do you think you're going to prefer hot or cold? I think I prefer hot, but oh, oh. it's worth trying, isn't it? That looks so good. Chocolate The chocolate still stick. stayed quite strong. Yeah. Oh, I mean. It's just literally the marshmallow. Mmm, that's so nice. <laughs> that marshmallow can't be like a real marshmallow, the fact that it's melted so quickly. I think it's more like a fluff. Mm. That is lovely. Yeah, that is a great experience. I'm in heaven. That's going 25 out of 10 as that's well. That's 25 out of 10, definitely. That is incredible. And that's probably one of the best s'mores I've ever had. Because I feel like we've had some pre-made s'mores before. Yeah. They came in like a little silver packet you open at one end, but they weren't that great. And then s'mores we've had before when we've been in America. Well, didn't we go somewhere and yeah. they had s'mores? It was, it was in the, the Universal City Walk. And we went to that like Western restaurant oh, that yeah. we went two times because <laughs> yeah. we enjoyed it. And we asked for s'mores yeah. and they took us to the outside fire pit. Oh, and Do you, you made remember? your own, yeah. But the but chocolate the wasn't that great. Is, yeah, because that's the problem is mm. when you have a s'more in America, most people go for Hershey's. Yeah. We don't like Hershey's milk chocolate. Yeah. Whereas this chocolate was delicious on there. Yeah, How really funny good. was that? I know, I've almost forgotten about that, yeah. you said. So because our dessert was the s'mores, we got to go outside. Yeah. That was so fun. That was cool, And yeah. there was a, like a bucking bull outside that Bronco, you could... Bronco, yeah. Oh, is that what it's yeah. called? Sorry. We loved that so much. We went twice, didn't we? Do you remember the bread had like a marshmallow dip or something? Yeah. Do you remember yes. that? Oh, yeah. so good. And as we're on like fresh, do you yeah. want to try those brownies? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Ooh. Now this is what Holly's really excited for. She bought them for us, but she's probably thinking, I want those brownies. Yeah, I love the rest. Also, most of this she was looking forward to trying, so yeah. she'll be doing her own taste test afterwards. These look great. So these say sea salt brownie bites, 
rich fudge brownies sprinkled with sea salt. I'm surprised when we were in America you didn't get anything like this. I don't remember ever seeing them. Maybe they didn't have them then. So they're sea salt. Yeah. Yum. Not nice just. Addition. <gasps> oh, so I thought they were dry, lovely. but they're not at all. No, this one's basically this falling is really apart. really gooey. It looks like it's going to be gooey and chewy. Smells really good. That smells like a brownie I've had before. It almost smells like Betty Crocker. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> I can't see sea salt, but I taste it. It almost tastes like it hasn't been cooked. Was it like a soft center? Well, they're fudge, aren't they? They're like left almost raw in the middle. But yeah, the sea salt is strong with this one. Which is good because mm. there's so many times it says sea salt and it's not. I never pick brownies. Like if we go to like a coffee shop or something, mm. whereas you'd quite often have a brownie over like a cookie or yeah. a cupcake. I never, it's always you and Holes. These are probably like one of the best brownies yeah. I've ever had. Well, that's the thing. You say I pick brownies, and so many times I'm disappointed because mm. they're dry. This or like a cake is the perfect, most perfect, gooey, mm -hmm. lovely brownie. Mm. And what's nice is you've got that like topping, which is kind of mm. love that. I don't know. It gives it a flavour of almost not burn, but do you know what I mean? Like a yeah, caramel crispy bit on top. Yeah, not the crispy bit. You got the crispy edges. <laughs> the sides are so. The insides are amazing. And that salt is so good. Because obviously I knew they were fresh, but I thought by now, Holly's brought them mm -hmm. on the transatlantic flight, maybe they'll be a bit dry by now, but they are still so gooey and so good. Katie. Oh, Holly is going to be in heaven. Heaven. <laughs> what are you giving those? I'm going to go even higher than our scale. I'm going to go 30 out of 10. They're ding, incredible. Ding, 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 ding. That's the highest score we've had, isn't it? I think so. I think I'm going to join you. They're sensational. What a sensational item. If you can get your hands on these sea salt Trader Joe's brownies, do. They're so good. I wonder good. if they do any more. Oh, I, I really want know. us to go to America now so we can try more Trader Joe's fresh items. Yeah, that'd be good. I think Trader Joe's sweet things are winning this time. So good. Right, and what are you picking? Should we go for those, um, I want to try those honey grams. Yeah. They look good. I like the packaging on these. Yeah, a little bit of chocolate drip. Dark chocolate covered honey Grahams with sea salt. Is it Grahams or Grams? <laughs> Grams. Graham. Excited. Because that's the thing. If you're called Graham in America, are you called Graham? We we know this. No, I know, I know Graham is, but yeah. it's like, is all Grahams. I think so. And everywhere in America. Although it is confusing because not all Craigs Graham. are Craigs, are they? Oh no. Craig. <laughs> These look good. They look quite simple, don't they? So they're basically a, gra uh, yeah. a graham cracker also, covered in It looks like there's salt, salt on the top. I think it's just rubbed off in the bag. Yeah. Don't you reckon? See, these don't excite me that much. Anything covered in chocolate excites me. Mmm. Uh. Whoa. Look how thick that chocolate is. It's very dark. Mmm, really dark. But, but not bitter dark. It's got a slight bit of bitter, but I don't enjoy those. If they were milk, maybe, but I just wouldn't ever reach for that. It's just a really boring snack. I don't think it's boring at all. I'll do. You know when things I need say, that. Yeah. The marshmallow one. You have those. You know when things usually say covered in dark chocolate? I usually say, for me, that's the chocolate isn't actually dark enough. This is probably one of the first times the dark chocolate has actually it's been dark, dark enough. dark enough. Yeah. Yeah, it is quite dark, isn't it? And do you like that thickness of chocolate on there? Yeah, and well, I like the crunch of the graham cracker. I think I'm going to have to give them 12 out of 10. What? 12 out of 10. For that? These are so good. For me, it needs either a layer of caramel, a layer of marshmallow. I'm giving those a five. If I had a layer of caramel, it would be 25. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving them a five. Sounds five. harsh. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, my word. Yeah, it sounds harsh, but. God, we're so for different me. when it comes to that. <laughs> Do you know what, actually, before I say that, mm. I don't really want us to finish on a dried fruit. Okay. <laughs> so, shall we get that over with now? Although, I say get that over with. The, the mango is one of my favorite dried fruits ever, but this doesn't look as fresh as that. Dried baby sweet pineapple, unsweetened and unsulfured. Sounds good for Marsh. So, have you had dried pineapple much? I have, but it's more mango in that. Sorry, did you just ask yourself a question and answer it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She just went, have you had dried mango much? I have. Not so much. <laughs> Was that on purpose? No, I was asking you, but I was also answering at the same time. <laughs> Get your hand in there. Look how good they look. They're like rounds. Yeah, like petals. Is that middle bit meant to be like the core? 
Like, why is it so small? Is it shriveled up that much? I guess when you dry it, it shrinks. They do look like petals. I feel like you could make something like out of them. Like the hibiscus. Okay. You could, oh, yeah. You could do like a little display. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Wow. What I like about Trader Joe's is they don't dry it way too much. No. They leave some juiciness. Mm. I was that's eating cool. around the core, but I ate it. Yeah, that's cool that the core is like mm. really edible because when you're eating a pineapple, there's no way you'd eat the core. But in this configuration... It works. It works. Mm. It's like an even chewy bit. I like that. Mm. Would you go those or the mango? Mango. Though? Yeah. If you've never seen it, my friend Christina Marie pointed it out to me. It's the succulent and juicy, isn't it yeah, called? Yeah, dried mango. Also, it says dried baby sweets. So I wonder if they're smaller. Oh, pineapples. maybe they're quite small. But I do reckon they shrink down a lot. Definitely the best dried pineapple I've had, though. Oh, about yeah. you? Yeah, because I think, like we said, the dried pineapple I've had before is, like, really dried. It's like yeah. there's no liquid left in it yeah. at all. Are we going chocolate or sweet? Well, since you don't want to finish on um, a dried fruit, Right. I just need to go get something quick. Oh, what is it? Oh, you have to wait and see. I knew there was something you were holding back. Based on the TikTok I saw, I asked Holly to pick up an item from Trader Joe's. Don't get too overexcited. No, can I guess what that is? Because I've just seen that it's in a jar. What? Have you got peach halves? Yeah. Trader Joe's peach halves. Did you watch the same TikTok as me then? Who? Because she's like American from Boston, I think. And she pointed she live in out London? those. Oh, no. Oh, no. She said about them, Al, but I thought I can't be asking at holes to get a jar. <laughs> well, I did. No! Oh! You don't know how excited I am for this. These look really cool, don't they? God, that jar is humongous. This is amazing. I can't believe you asked for this, Al. This is literally those and this were the only things I liked from her video. But I didn't realise how big the jar was. The jar is massive. That's yeah. why I wasn't asking holes. That's 700 grams. Oh, I'm so excited. I love peach halves. And since you enjoyed the uh, juicy mango so much, I thought you'd like these. Mm -hmm. There you go. Trader, Yo <laughs> Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. Trader Joe's yellow sling peach halves in white grape juice nice. from Concentrate are grown in the region of Valencia, Spain. The warm Mediterranean sea produces sweet flavoured peaches. Use them as a topping on your favourite dessert such as ice cream or yogurt or add them to salads uh, or just eat them with a or fork. Or just eat them, yeah. That would be amazing on ice cream and with yogurt. Yeah. Oh yeah, yogurt. Thanks, Al. That's no, alright. I can't believe you got us this. <laughs> so you are excited. I'm very... That's not dried fruit. Yeah. You're saying you didn't want to finish on dried fruit. No, but I thought you might not want to finish on fruit right, I altogether. So I thought I'd best get no, it No, just because sometimes dried fruit's not oh, very they're good. They're really juicy, aren't they? I got you your own. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. They are so, like, soft. So soft, isn't it? Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I love peaches. Mm. Mm. Right, that's perfect, isn't it? Do you know that's what that amazing. would also go nice with? What? Just some cream. Yes. Mm. When they say salad, I would add it to a fruit salad, though. Mm, that is lovely. So that was a good good ask then, was it? Yeah. I can't believe the only other item I wanted out of the <laughs> videos I saw was that? was that. How funny. I wanted the peach arse. Amazing. Oh, they're delicious. And what's that out of 10? Uh, 10 out of 10. Delicious. I'm going to go 12 out of 10. Okay, I'll go 12 out of 10. 10. They're very delicious. <laughs> so good. Because the thing is, I saw them and thought you would really like them. Yes. I didn't I really peach. think about how much I would like them. and But actually, they're really lovely. Oh, thanks, really Al. Nice. So I secretly asked for those for you, and you secretly asked for those for that me. Worked so out well, then. <laughs> well done. We're nice. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Well <laughs> Okay, so do you want to end on chocolate or sweet? I think start with the sweet. Okay. And then end on this chocolate. These look fun, don't they? They do look fun. These are called Trader Joe's gummy tummies. The, it's funny because like the branding's really quite basic here. Yeah. Just like two, one colour, really. Soft gummy candies in assorted flavours. Trader Joe's gummy tummies have a soft spot for you. Each gummy tummy candy has a fluid centre. Oh, yes, please. That's what we want to hear. That pleasantly melts in your mouth. They are made in France, especially for us. How oh, that's funny. interesting. Whoa, smell those. Oh, they, they do smell. smell good. Start with yellow, I think. Obviously, one's burst in here. Mm. Mm. That really tastes nice, like a nice lolly. That's lovely. I love how soft these are. They're really soft. And when you bite and it bursts. And it... I like how they actually have a fluid centre. Yeah. Because so many times they say like a liquid centre and it's not. Oh, I think that's cherry. I knew when I smelled it. Mm -hmm. They are really nice. I love how soft they are and like the bite's really pleasing. Yeah. It's got a lovely soft bite 
and a soft center, whereas normally when you have the soft center, they're actually quite chewy. Yeah. And then you break into the center. That's a really nice uh, texture and flavor. Mm. What are you giving those? I'm gonna give those, I'm gonna give them an eight out of 10. I'm giving them nine. I would give 10, but there's a cherry in yeah. there. I if wish only it the flavors were slightly better. Because yeah. now there's one out of three that I'm not. I as... wish one was more like a raspberry or yeah. a strawberry or something. Yeah. Okay, last but not least. Oh, no, I can't believe it. Last item. Trader Joe's chocolate covered sea salt butterscotch caramels. I think we saved a good one for last. I think we did. I love the color of this bag. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? I think we have it? some information finally. I love the kind of, well, it's not gold, but it's almost like gold it, on the bottom. It's regal, isn't it? Very with the... regal. It says soft and creamy, deeply flavored butterscotch caramels are tinged with sea salt and enrobed in I dark, love it slightly when they bitter say chocolate. Row. Although you don't like oh. it when they say slightly bitter chocolate. To offset the sweetness, only to offset the sweetness. That about says it all. No artificial flavors, colors, store in a cool and place. eight pieces is oh. actually a serving. Because they are quite small. They're lovely and shiny, aren't they? Very Smell more shiny. like raisins, chocolate covered raisins. Yeah, they do. I love the way the light glints on them. You know, some people like diamonds. I like chocolate covered things <laughs> that glint in the, in the light. You think they're gonna be soft? Or? Oh, they are. When I said butterscotch, I thought it was gonna be like, Crunchy. Mmm. Wow. We've had that butterscotch flavor somewhere else. I don't think it's just the chocolate's bitter, but I don't think it mm. it's the chocolate. I think the butterscotch mm. is quite bitter. You know when you like caramelize. Burn a caramel. Mm. Um, what do you think for them? Nice, but I think they they're almost taste nice. burnt. Yeah, they're not as nice as I was expecting them to be. They do taste burnt. But I kind of can't taste the chocolate because the butterscotch is so strong. They're okay. I thought they were going to be awesome. I do really like them. They're really decadent. Mm. Really rich and decadent. But I think out of the stuff we've we've got, in some ways I think I prefer the Honey Grams, chocolate covered Honey Grams West. They're so much more simple. And these are really rich, but I think they're a bit like too rich. Could you, could you, you know, because they were quite soft, could you press a couple on top of the gram? I imagine you could, yeah. Or like in between. <laughs> I could try. I can't believe you tried it all. I know, it was all so good. I mean... We've had fantastic boxes from Trader Joe's before, but I think this was like, just took it to the next yeah. level. A, A five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Food of the week. Well, I think, to be honest, there can only be one winner. And that winner <laughs> is, is the this. brownies. It's the brownies. These are probably, <coughs> possibly, and this is amazing to say, but I think these possibly might be the best brownies I've ever had. Like, yeah, I, I would have I hoped brownie I had fresh at like a restaurant or a bakery. Yes. Was. And I have had some good brownies, but I think this is just amazing. It's just so juicy and gooey and lovely. They lived up to it. They were absolutely amazing. And do you know what else? What? I don't mind a brownie with nuts, but I'm just glad oh, yeah. that didn't have oh, them. Me I don't too. think the nut would have worked with that. No, I'm so surprised there weren't nuts in there because mm. I feel like everywhere in America loves any chance to yeah. put a nut in it. I would say they're my treat of the week, yeah. but I have to also mention these. Yeah, they are. I feel like so we can have good. a chocolate in this week. Yeah. These were absolutely phenomenal. If we're going to have a one a chocolate. Savory. One chocolate and a one not chocolate item. Yeah. My second, my other treat of the week is actually going to be these Ooh, peach halves. Yes. These are so amazing and so soft and juicy. If I lived in America, I would probably go through one those. of these a week. Yeah, because I feel like you'd put them in your breakfast and you'd have like yogurt and they're And then absolutely I think I'd just have one in the afternoon while yeah. I'm lounging <laughs> by the pool. Oh, Holly, 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 if you are watching this video and you got all the way to the end, thank you so much. We won't be sending you a box, but... Why don't you get yourself into Candyland and pick yourself some goodies? If anyone else would like to try some of our British treats, we'll leave a link to our website down below. Yeah, we've got a whole website full of British goodies and when you buy one of those boxes, it helps support the channel. It really does. But did you enjoy that, Elle? I loved it. It was even better than I expected. Do you have any words for Holes? Because I kind of cut you off. Um, Holly, you're amazing as always. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you for being our sister. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you guys all enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.